Well, life has started back to normal once again with uh, school children coming into our Catholic schools and into our state schools, catechists preparing their lessons along with their own teachers to provide a good education in faith as well as a education in the ways of the world. This world, as we know, is uh, still in strife with wars that are going on in the Middle East and Ukraine. So we ask to remember our intention, in our intentions, our peace in those places. Indeed, the Holy Father has proclaimed a year of prayer. Uh, this is in preparation for the Jubilee year that is being held in 2025. And as the Jubilee year begins, we need to have that preparation spiritually to enter into a see how we can be people who forgive, who release others from debt, and let others know that God is really with them in their lives. This Sunday is Word of God Sunday. In Australia, it's held after schools go back so that the people can be more aware. Overseas, it's held in January. But the Holy Father has asked us to see the place of scripture in our lives. Where is the Bible in your house? Is it behind me, like on my desk, uh, my uh, bookcase? Uh, is it somewhere that it can be seen and easily grabbed? Is it in the foyer of your house as you enter so that people can see that this house is a house that God dwells amongst us with his word alive in our hearts? Many people find it difficult to read scripture, but we have these great apps on our phones now that enable us to have a piece of scripture delivered every day. So I invite you to look into that and to try and pray at some time during the day the word of God, whether it be the Old Testament or New Testament, wherever the Bible opens or your app takes you, spend just a few moments in quiet meditation seeing how God is calling each one of us to be closer to him. So I commend that to you and uh, pray that this Word of God Sunday will take root in the hearts of all our parishioners. May God bless you.